Yo, what is up, YouTubers? Today, I am going to be going over Rotate Image. It's a medium leak code problem, has to do with arrays. It's been asked by Microsoft, Apple, and Amazon. Please check out my ch channel and subscribe if you haven't already. I post videos basically every day about leak code. So now let's get to it. It teaches you a lot about how to manipulate arrays. So it's really, I think it's really important to know this problem. Um, I could see it being asked an interview question. I've, I've heard it. It's been asked before. So let's jump right into it. You are given an N by N 2D matrix. So that means the, the rows and the columns are going to be equal. Um, that makes it a lot easier. It could be N by N where they're different, um, which is actually another problem that I will get to in the future. Um, so we just need to rotate the image by 90 degrees clockwise. So they just want us to basically pick it up and rotate it. So one, two, three will be on the right, and um, the the column, the first column, will be on top. So it's like just imagine picking it up and switching it right here, as you can see right here. Um, and so yeah, they're n by n. So there's four here, four columns, four rows, three columns, three rows. It's always going to be the same. So that makes it easier. I actually have all the code written. I need to clear that. And so the logic behind this, this is a great one to whiteboard. Um, I drew it out. The logic here is you gotta, um, you don't actually want to like, there's not an easy way to, as far as I'm aware, to just like, you can't really just like pick it up and turn it. You have to <laughs> turn them. Oh, and the other thing is we have to rotate the image in place. So they want us to not create another array. We have to change it inside the array. So that means we're going to have to use temp variables to keep tr reference of previous variables that we're going to change. It's similar to like swapping when we swap two variables, we're going to have to basically do that. Um, so the one thing to notice is that um, the the row is down here. So if we first transpose it, I think this is probably the hardest part, the logic to realize is if you transpose it, which means if you switch the so if you transpose it you're basically taking um you're basically rotating it to the left um so this this row becomes this column um you're just swapping the rows and the columns and you're going through the whole thing so you see uh as you can see this the last column becomes the last row that's transposed now how close is this to um, this, well, if you look here, we have, oh, sorry, it's my video is in the way. There. You, we have 147 on top if we transpose it. Now, if we reverse it, 741, it, it matches. It, it's just the transposed is reversed of the, um, the rotated matrix, basically. So we need to transpose it and then reverse it. So now we just need to write code to do that. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Um, I'm going to create a temp variable and uh, I'll do, uh, no, I'll name it n. So int n, this, we're going to grab the length. So matrix dot length. Um, so because it's n by n, we can just do map, um, matrix dot length because they're going to be the same if we needed m by n we would have to do n is matrix dot length m is matrix dot length zero um it would be like the zero how you grab it for uh 2d matrix zero and then blank um so yeah so and then we just need to transpose it i've done a video on this before so we're gonna do uh, nest two nested for loop, uh, nested for loop, I guess. Um, so for int i equals zero, whoops, i less than n. We're gonna loop through all the rows, i plus plus, and then we're gonna do j. Same thing. Um, actually, so we're I believe it's j equals i because we are. Um, uh, we have to, once we, let me show you on the board, once we swap this row, um, we're going to, so we swap this one, i is one here, 
once we get to i equal or i equals zero i'm sorry because it's zeroth index once we get to i equals one we are only swapping these two we're no longer doing the four the four has already been swapped so um j is going to be equal to i we don't need to do j equals zero we've already done that in when i is one so that's why we're doing that hopefully that that makes sense um that's a little bit harder concept to pick up but you just gotta think about it logically draw it out picture it in your head however you need to figure out how to do that so temp is let's set i'm sure you guys have swapped variables before so let's set um temp equal to you could do either i j or j i it doesn't matter what order you do it but when you're swapping variables you do so now we're going to change we're storing matrix ij in temp so now we can change matrix ij we can update it when we're transposing it and we still have the original value in temp so just remember it, it goes in order so i'll show you what i mean by that so we're setting it equal to matrix ji we're just swapping the rows and columns and then matrix ji we still have that original value or, or yeah it's still the original value so we need to update it to temp so what i mean by is they go in order is first you um store matrix aj in temp and then you change matrix ij to matrix ji and then matrix you update matrix ji so it's like ij ij ji ji that's what i was trying to explain that's how i think about it and um oh i'm still in the for loop so that was transpose and so obviously that's oven squared it's two for loops it's pretty simple okay so now we just need to um reverse the rows so um let me reverse rows so how we're going to do this is um the biggest thing we're going to take basically two pointers we just need to swap this one with this one um so we're going to swap i which is we're going to swap ij this is ij with um how do we get to the last one well you take the length which is so n equals three this is the second index so you would think well three minus one yeah that works for this scenario but imagine we had one two three four five this is the fourth index third index zero one two yeah that works for um the last index only we need to um so if n is five n equals five minus one gets us four we we don't we third well in this case we're still swapping it with this one so j equals one and So we get um, n minus 1 minus j. So 5 minus 1 minus 1 equals 3, which is the index we want to swap. So it's just n minus 1 minus j. Hopefully that makes sense. I don't know how else to explain that. Um, so yeah, let's code it out. i equals 0, i less than n, i plus plus and so if you see here we're only i'm going to draw i did a lot of drawing up here so i'm going to do it on this one we are only swapping this and this we're doing one swap um per row so we're in a row we're doing one swap how do we do that we do so j while j is less than n divided by two n equals three so j less than 3 divided by 2 equals 1.5 as you know in coding it rounds down so it's going to be while j is less than 1 we're only doing one swap so it's only going to execute once so that is going to be for our second for loop it equals 0 j less than n divided by 2 and j plus plus okay so now we just need to swap them let's store it in temp so matrix equals matrix i and j matrix i 
j equals so now we need to we're not um we're staying in the same row so it's still i uh, you don't want to swap it with uh, the other column so it's a little bit different so now we do n minus 1 minus j like i just said and then you do matrix i we're just swapping n minus 1 minus j equals 10. And there you have it. This is a void um, function, so we don't need to return anything. This should work. Yep, it works. And it's fast as hell too. 100%, 5% uh, memory usage. So it's O of one, we did it in description. It's in, pla in place, we're not creating a new matrix. So it's O of one space complexity. O of n squared um, running time complexity just two uh, two, uh, two nested for loops so I mean there's two separate ones so technically it's 2 n squared but we just simplify it to um, n squared and there you have it please like this video if you haven't already it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow